Hello and welcome to the Stam Muffin YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to navigate 3D Weave in Blender. Let's get started. First of all, we see the our objects in the 3D view. If I go to right side and I see the gizmo, you can actually move around the scene. And this four type of the button, this helps us to navigate in Blender. The first one is the gizmo. That is actually show us to how to access change to make different view if i take my mouse to on this gizmo and i'm gonna see like the circle around this gizmo and if i go to different type of actually this text we see x y and z these are axes we see the red one in this x axis if i left click the x and I'm gonna see my 3D view is changed. But how? How we know actually all changes? We see the changes left side of the top in this right orthographic view. And also we see different kind of axis again. If I click the Y and I'm gonna see back side of the orthographic of the view. If I click the Z and I see the whole things, whole objects in my scene at the top top orthographic and also if i take my mouse in his gizmo and hold the left click mouse button and i'm gonna see my 3d view navigation to make some rotation on this actually looking for the center and also i can change different kind of axis too this is positive axis and this is negative axis but we are seeing the axis to all things and also you can use for like this rotation in the middle mouse button let's get hold middle mouse button and just drag it right and left you can see your 3d view is changed we see actually in this scene the red axis x axis and also y axis the red one is x axis how would you know if i go to right side of the gizmo i see the red axis over there and also the green one is y but i cannot see the z axis how we can actually turn on that z axis to help us let's get learned first of all we're going to overlays and i left click the overlays in here to look down arrow and see the axis here if i click the z and the z axis appears on my 3d width and i see the x axis here and also y axis is here and z axis over here but we see actually that xyz coordinate system and also we see that kind of grid system the grid system help us to actually modeling system and also we have a zoom option if i go and click right side of this icon but hold down left click and move your mouse down this is going to zoom out if i move my mouse to forward and i can see the zoom in and also you can actually use your middle mouse wheel if i take down the wheel to back and i'm zoom out if i take my mouse wheel to forward and the zoom in actually you can work with different kind of navigation and you can practice three minutes or four minutes and you can just navigate your 3d view the next one is the pan section you can move the view actually if i hold down the left mouse button to click this hand icon and i'm just moving my mouse to right or left i can see the moving my view actually and the next one is camera toggle view if i click this icon and it goes to camera view if i click left and then i see the camera view if i click again and it is out of the camera and the next one is perspective view you can see the different kind of projection view actually in this icon if i click the view and my view it's changed if i look the left top and this user orthographic view and we are in orthographic view and again if i click the same thing but this is changed this is perspective and orthographic projection if i click this and i'm going to again same place and also you can use the shortcuts if you press the numpad of the five and again this is orthographic and also again 
let's get press the five button and again this is user perspective and also we have a different toggle of this camera weave we are also use the shortcut of the numpad zero if i press the zero button on my keyboard and again it goes to camera view if i press the same zero number it goes same place to my view if you press the middle mouse button and you can see actually in here in status bar it's changed if i click on this 3d view the middle mouse button and you see the alt keyboard on your keyboard the alt press key the axis snap if i press shift and my middle mouse button and also i can pan over here if i click middle mouse button and then just hold it and just moving my mouse and you can see actually my gizmo is changed and also you can use for shift on your keyboard to pan actually moving your view different places use the shift key on your keyboard and also press the middle mouse button left and right move your mouse again and it is same thing to pan over view is here and you can use for them but you can use the mouse and keyboard interaction but we see the camera button over here if our camera is not there and i'm just click the delete button to delete objects and if i make the same camera with and there is no camera with this icon just runs if your scene has a camera if you don't have any type of camera you don't use this icon because because the program don't know the camera is where and scene doesn't have any kind of camera and you can use for this also you can use for this projection but this projection kind of weird kind of ugly but more scientific action if you don't use and you can see the perspective and orthographic projection and also you can reach all of this stuff to view section if i don't know how to change my orthographic view if you go to 3d view and view section see the perspective and orthographic mode and numpad 5 if i click here our view it's changed okay let's get select the objects let's move our cursor to object and left mouse click button if i select all of my object in my scene i press the a on my keyboard if i press the a on my keyboard i select every object but we know the active objects lights just like the lighter than other and we see the cube is active how we did know actually we see the left side of this information box this collection selected in this collection we selected the cube actually but this is active but we selected all our objects if i don't want to actually select all of it and just click of out of the space in this area in 3d view i'm just left click and all of my selected objects that just deselected if we are select all just keyboard a button and also if you press the alt and a at the same time you can deselect all of your objects if you want to select things in your scene actually you can see the 3d main region to select here if you press the left click in this select you can see all of the actually actions over here the selection if i want to select all of these things you just go to this select and select all change selection of all visible objects in your scene it's all selected and also you can go to select and you you can see the shortcut of here this means your keyboard alt key and a key to all of actually deselect everything and also we see the invert what does that mean if you select any type of object but you don't want to select but just you want to select this type of objects actually go to select and invert the selection it's a good actually practice for our actually invert any select because this helps us to our actually system the invert actually you have to learn this selection mode 
mode. And also we see the how to navigate our actually scene and we see the axis and we see the select or deselect. And the last one is how to delete of my scene in any type of object. You can just select left mouse button with your select of your object and your keyboard to delete X key and then just OK tabs actually pop up on your screen. Delete again and again if I click the left and then my object deleted. And also if you select another type of objects, you can actually press the delete button on your keyboard. It's same. But delete button actually don't ask any type of question. If we select the, our objects and press X button on my keyboard, just pop up a new screen to say, are you sure about to delete these objects? If you don't want to go just out of the space, if you just want to delete, use your delete button on your keyboard. And the next one actually how to undo deleted objects if we made a mistake and we can just undo our actually move movements. How we can do that? We have uh, so many things actually in our Blender program, but for now it's Ctrl Z at the same thing actually appears like this. Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, and also you can just undo your movements, undo your any type of selections or deleting things you can do actually. And also you can just manipulating with the object in here and also adding and selecting and with section of your screen we see the object but also we see the delete and delete global is here and like this we see how to select and we see how to delete our objects and also we have a different kind of selection mode but in this video I'm just explain how to navigate your actually 3d view and also selecting deleting and also undo any type of your action we learned about and in this video Thank you for watching me. If you like the video, like, subscribe and comment down below any type of questions. Don't hesitate anything and see you next time.